Well, hello. Um, this talk is regarding betting strategies. And um, what I want to talk about is when you're playing at the, at the table, blackjack table, when you check in, you buy chips, and the, the dealer tells the floor man about it, and he walks over to his laptop on the podium up there, and he, he'll book you in. So like, if you buy in for $500, for instance, you buy all greens, and you know, he might, he'll check your card in so he, know, you know, he knows who you are. And um, if you don't have a card, they'll, you, you can still play and everything, but he'll, he'll kind of write a little description of you just so they know who you are and that. But you want to play with a rewards card in order to get your benefits. Because after all, that's how you get free, mo free rooms, free meals, whatever, uh, bonus reward points. It's, you know, it's kind of a separate game all by itself. But what I wanted to talk about is when, when you get into a winning streak, if you, you buy in for $500, you play, 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 and if you lose it and you buy another $500, then the uh, pit boss is going to come over and put that in his computer too. And, um, Really, any point in the play, you can you can ask him or her how much you, money you have on the table. He can tell you. He can say, well, you you've bought 500 worth, or you bought 200 worth, or whatever, and you've been playing for two hours. Uh, that information is available to him right there. And the reason that's important is because if you start winning a lot, say if you buy $1,000 worth of chips and you're playing and playing and, and you're winning and uh, say you win another $1,000, you get $1,000 ahead. And if you just cashed out with that, you color up, put all your money in and give it to the dealer and he gives you a couple of $500 chips for your money and he call he'll mention he'll tell that to the pit boss, and the pit boss writes it down, or note, notes it in his in his computer, his laptop, and uh, it goes on your record, your rewards record, and they'll have a win loss statement at the end of the year for you, and and they can ac you can access it through their website any point and and find out what's on there. But what I'm getting to is you don't really want them knowing when you've won a lot of money how much you won and get it on your win-loss statement because they can, you know, turn it into the government and you could end up paying taxes on it, which, I mean, I don't, I don't think that's right because balanced against your losses, you know, you probably didn't come out ahead. But if you had a $2,000 win on one night, they could t give you a, a tax statement for that. They, they just turn it into the IRS, and you could have to pay tax on that, even if you lost $10,000 the last two times you played, uh, two trips or whatever. And you'd have a real time. It'd be a nightmare to try to explain it and, and get them to write that off. You'd just have to pay the tax on it. So... The point I'm getting to is if you're winning, um, you have a, bought a thousand and you've won a thousand, you're, you're a thousand dollars ahead, okay? It sticks, the stocks, uh, chips are stacking up on your side, okay? What you want to do, what I recommend, you color up. You have the dealer, you know, color up your chips and give you some blacks, for instance, okay? Depends on how fast you're winning, how much you're winning, but get some, you know, color up, okay? So now your chips are not big, three big stacks. They've got, you got smaller ones here, okay? You still can play them, 
but you you reduced your stack. And depending on how much you're wanting to win and how long you're playing and how it's going, what what I do, what works out pretty good for me, is I will take some of these profit chips that I've colored up and I'll take them off the table and I'll put them in my pocket. Ladies, you can put them in your purse. But once you've, you know, once you have these chips, you bought them and they're yours. You can put them in your purse, your pocket, hold them in your hands, do whatever you want. And uh, I don't think they can say anything about it. But what you want to do is, when, you know, when the pit boss is not standing there and maybe they just changed the dealer out or something, somebody who's not going to really notice and put together what you're doing, take some of your profit ones and put them in your pocket. Put them away. You can always pull them back out, but I don't recommend that. If you if you put them away and you get lose all your table chips, that's probably a good time to quit. But if you're in a nice winning seat and you keep winning over, you know, you, you just keep winning with them, you move your stack down, start putting some in hundreds in your pocket or something, and then uh, say, you know, you've colored up a few chips. When you get, say, $500, color them up and get a, get a $500 chip. Put that over here in your stack. Just don't make a big deal out of it. Just put it in your stack. And again, when, uh, when it's convenient and nobody's really watching you, take that chip, put it in your pocket. Like I said, there's... It's fine to do that. You just don't want them to uh, mark it down on the tablet. You don't want it to show up on your win-loss statement and have to pay tax on it. That's my theory. And uh, I've had it, I've done it, I've had it done where I'll win quite a bit of money over a period of time. And you just keep coloring up a little at a time. You know, every time you get a five or $600 extra, you still got a couple a couple nice stacks of green, then color them chips up. Get purples. They're five hundred dollar chips. Usually they're purple. So you get your five hundred dollar chips and you put them in your pocket. Put it, just put them away. And once you do that uh, over the a while, um, and I know from experience this is how it is for me at least it was. Don't go back in that pocket, you know, just put them away, or your purse if you're a lady, or whatever. But don't don't get them out, put them away, drop them in. If you can just drop a hundred in your pocket, do that. A couple hundred, fine, do that. And um, at the end of the night, when you quit, you know you got them in your pocket, and at some point, you know it's profit. You know that you've put enough away in your, in your pocket that that's your buy-in. And whatever you have on the table is your profit. So it's easy to, like money management that way. You can you can see what's happened. If you lose this much, you see you're going downhill, well, quit. You know all this is profit. And, uh, you know, if you keep on building, you building up, you get more and more, that's, you know, of course, that's so much fun. And you go ahead, color up. And when you color up, get your $500 chip. And, uh, you know, when it's opportunity, you can put it right in your pocket if you want immediately. But, it, you know, I just, for me, I, it's more subtle to just wait and then, then tuck it away when it's, nobody's really looking. But at the end of the night, when you quit, you got, you know, whatever you had on the table is your profit. You know you got that. You don't know how much you put away. So later on, when you pull them out and count them up, you can be surprised. And it's a lot of fun. It's a big, you know, kind of an adrenaline rush of, of winning a big prize, you know. And you don't know how much you had until um, you get them out of your pocket and count them up and... It's just a fun way to go. So, I mean, that's just a tip from me and a, a little suggestion of a, of a way you can handle it, you know, when you're winning. And uh, 
try to keep your uh, win-loss statement down where you're not going to have to be um, paying taxes on it, money that you really don't owe taxes on. Another thing is they have they have twenty fives, they have hundreds, they have five hundreds, and they have thousand dollar chips, which I've got them too. Um, I I like I mean I like them because they're a lot they're real value, but I mean it's one chip. If you lose that one chip, you lost thousand dollars. I mean drop it on the floor or whatever. Somebody pickpockets you for it or something. You just don't know what's going to happen. And the other part is when you go to cash in at the cashier's uh, cage, if you go with a stack of $1,000 chips, they might raise an eyebrow. But if you go there, if you won, if you're staying at the hotel for a couple of days and you can do this, if you won, say, $3,000, don't take it all to the window and cash it in immediately. Um, you're going to play more, probably, and um, you you don't want to you just don't want to cash it all in. And they because they could they could make with uh, the uh, IRS remittance thing too. But if you get thousand dollar chips, that's fine. Uh, but at the cashier's cage. Uh, I would take just part of it. If you'd made three thousand, and you got four thousand dollars in chips because your your profit was three thousand, one thousand is what you buy. Go to the cage and just cash in a thousand. Nobody raises an eyebrow about that. Cash in fifteen hundred. They just don't. You know, they're not going to raise an eyebrow about that because lots of people do it. But if you pop up with three thousand or four thousand all at once. Then you're attracting suspicion to your not suspicion but attention to yourself, and you want to be a low profile uh, when you're in the casino. If and you're making money, you don't want them paying attention to you and going, well, how come he's making so much money or or whatever. So you know, think about that. Think about how you're cashing in your chips too, and you you know you're gonna. Keep some because you want to play more. You can buy chip, then buy your next buy-in with chips. Don't buy, use cash. And cash in your chips a little at a time. If you have to go once, you know, when you get up from the table and cash in 1500 and then go do something. Eat or walk around or wait till the next day and then go cash in another 1500 That way you're not... You're just not attracting attention to yourself. So low profile is better. Anyway, that's just a little tip for me regarding uh, betting strategies. So keep on coming back, folks.